What's up? Welcome to your daily Buckeye Blitz for a Monday. Monday morning. Kick in this week right in the nards the right way. Uh, June 10th, 2024 is the date of today. I am a little tired, dragging ass. Um, for some reason, the wife woke me up three times in the middle of the night last night. Not on purpose. She slept right through it. Uh, just uh, I, I don't understand. Not for, she didn't wake me up for the good reasons either. So I'm enjoying that. Uh, I do have some coffee here. So hopefully i um, get myself a little juiced up. It's going to be a three coffee day. I can see it right now. Uh, we start moving this week, uh, which uh, heads up Friday. I'm not sure if we'll do a live show or not. It really depends on if everything gets settled in by then. All of our furniture is going in Wednesday. So if I have the Wi-Fi up and running by Friday, we'll try and do a live show. Talk some recruiting. Got another huge weekend coming up. And um, <clears throat> that leads right into today's topic. We got a bunch of news and notes from the first week of Ohio State's recruiting camps. Uh, last week, they had a couple camps. Uh, when was it? Wednesday and Thursday, I think. And uh, there's a lot of, lot of good in-state talent. Um, at multiple positions, not just your typical three-star O lineman or something like that. We are um, these these camps are really revealing some of the the, the hidden gems around the state and uh, the Midwest and stuff. So we're going to get into them and um, talk about s some names that are you know twenty twenty six guys pretty much all. all uh, we didn't see too many twenty fives, but a couple uh, anyway. But uh, a lot of these names are, are um, names you're going to be hearing over the next year uh, in recruiting. So let's get to it. We got a lot to talk about. Um, so uh, some some in-state guys are still waiting for an Ohio State offer. These are 2025 guys we're going to start with. Um, you got Westerville North lineman Jake Cook, um, Massillon Washington lineman Nolan Davenport, uh, Cincinnati Taft Drayden Pavey, and Marion Franklin's Dwayne Galloway. Um, each of these guys impress the staff in their own way, but uh, we're going to run through each one and and talk about them. Let's start off with Galloway. Uh, he's the corner, 6'1", 175. Um, I've heard that some of these uh, measurements might not be 100% accurate, especially, especially here. He might be 5'11". Uh, so, again, Depends on what site you're using. I'm on 24-7, so I don't know. Maybe they're wrong. So Galloway's a 2025 guy. Uh, he's a four-star, a 9-4-4-7, nationally ranked 122, number 13 corner, number six player in the great football state of Ohio. Um, he does have one weird crystal ball to Purdue. Uh, anyway, <laughs> he has a commitment date set for July 5th, so right after the holiday weekend. Um it's got offers across the Midwest, Kentucky, Michigan, cheaters, sorry, uh, Penn State, Syracuse. So um, anyway, um, in the camp setting last week, he ran a blistering 4.3540, 435. Now, these are hand timed, not laser. So maybe you got a little uh, a slow click there on the start. Anyway, uh, 435, I would I would round it up to a 4.4 probably. Anyways, uh, so a 4.35. You know, that grabs your attention right away. Uh, and he looks like he has all the tools to be a lockdown corner. He's got the length, uh, even though he's he checked in at the camp under six feet tall. So, yeah, 24 he's update their stuff. Um, but uh, his length, uh, he used it in one-on-one uh, -on -one situations to knock away passes. Um, he's still very raw for a 2025 guy. Um, he has some mechanical things that need cleaned up. Uh, he's getting by just on sheer athleticism. Um, Tim Walton was was obviously impressed, though, and the Buckeyes are hoping Galloway will take the coaching that he got at this camp and return for a second camp, like middle of the month. You know, um, so if he applies the lessons he learned last week, an offer could come here in the middle of June. Uh, next up, let's talk uh, Jake Cook. Some offensive linemen here. Um, he is a three star, eight seven six six, he's six five two ninety five. So good size, Westerville North kid. So right there in the uh, Columbus area. 
uh, nationally ranked 6'11", number 40 interior lineman, number 21 Ohio uh, player. And uh, again, I've said this before, but I'd like to reiterate it. Uh, it's hard to to rate accurately interior O lineman. So I would expect his performance in these camps to really ramp up his uh, his rankings. And he's actually committed to Louisville right now. He committed there back in February. So just probably wanted to lock in a spot somewhere. But he he was probably the hardest worker last week in the camps. He took rep after rep after rep. Uh, after a series of one-on-one -on -one reps, he puked a ton of Gatorade all over the new turf at the practice field. Um, but then he was back in the mix for the next set of reps. Guy, never say die, you know. Um, nobody in the state has changed his game and his body more than Cook over the last year. Uh, he spent a lot of time with Justin Fry and Ryan Day after the camp. Uh, they told him that uh, he's forcing them to reconsider their O-line board. So, could see an offer coming and might want, they might want to see him one more time at, at a camp, see if he can maintain this. A lot of time is times it's about consistency. You know, you flashed once, can you do it another time? Uh, that's the thing here with Nolan Davenport. He's a tackle, 6'6, 260 from Massillon, Washington. Um, three star, 8776. Nationally, he's in the top 600, number 47 tackle, number 20 player in Ohio. He is currently committed to Wisconsin. He just committed there uh, June 6th, so just a few days ago. Uh, anyway, uh, he seemed to be on the verge of picking up an Ohio State offer a couple of weeks ago when he dominated at Massillon's recruiting showcase. Um, but the workout this past week was uh, it lacked the energy that he had two weeks ago, so he's he hasn't gotten that offer yet. Now, talking about this uh, defensive tackle, his name is Drayden Pavey. He's from uh, Cincinnati Taft, 6'3", 305, good size. Um, he's an 8578, nationally ranked just outside the top 1,000, number 97 D lineman, number 42 player in Ohio. Um, so he looks like an Ohio State defensive tackle at 6'3", 300 pounds. Um, and that, those are legit measurements. Um, he impressed Larry Johnson, and uh, Larry asked him to be patient while he works out some other defensive tackles over the next couple of weeks. So, um, Pavey said, uh, Larry's exact words were, you checked a lot of boxes I needed to see from you. I'm not going to offer you today. And the reason why is because I'm evaluating four other guys who look and are built just like you. Uh, give me three weeks to build on this great camp you had, and we will talk soon. So something to look forward to. And again, it's it's about, you know, the coaches are are helping the players by by coaching them up, but then they want to see you repeat this performance, you know, in a week or two. So um we've we've seen it with like Terry McLaurin and stuff like that. Um, Denzel Ward, these guys came to a camp. Ohio State said, you need to work on this, this, and this, come back in a couple of weeks, and then, boom, they get offered. So is this not unusual? So let's talk uh, some 26s here, 2026 guys, a number of guys that did get an offer last week. Um, first up is Braylon Womack. He is a 5'11", 185 safety from Flowood, Mississippi. Flowood. Uh, so a five star. He is a, a nine eight six seven, nationally ranked number twenty one, number three safety, number one player in his state. Has offers from Bama, Florida, Georgia, you name it. Has a couple crystal balls to Notre Dame right now, but um, uh, the Buckeyes are a team to watch for Womack. Um, he said uh, during the camp that Ohio State was his dream school. Uh, he he cheered for Ohio State ever since he started playing football as a young kid. And there's a lot to like with Womack. He's a, a great personality fit for the Buckeyes as well. And what can you say about pulling a kid out of Mississippi? I mean, that, that would be freaking huge, right? Um, so keep an eye on him. Uh, next up is uh, four-star Victor Singleton. He's a corner, six foot one sixty, out of Toledo Central Catholic. Pride of the four one nine, uh, number one forty four nationally, number ten corner, number six player in the great state of Ohio. Um, 
So Singleton has been working hard to get an offer from Ohio State, and he stood out again last week. Um, he didn't hit the weight goal that the Buckeyes had set for him. 160 is pretty light, right? Um, but he did run under a 4.45, which is and was excellent in coverage. So those are, are good signs. Just needs to put on some LBs, right? Get in the weight room, eat, eat some double cheeseburgers, whatever it takes. Get some bacon on that burger. Um, next up, Jacob Weatherspoon. He is an listed as an athlete from Avon, up in Avon, Ohio, 5'11", 172. He's a 26 guy as well. These are 26s. Uh, Four-star, 9253, nationally ranked uh, 196, number 16 athlete, and number seven player in Ohio. Um, so Weatherspoon is the third in-state corner with an offer from the Buckeyes. Um, when's the last time we could offer three guys in-state at corner is my first question. Um I mean, yeah, 2024, but before that, it's been a while. Um, so you're, he ran in the low four fours, his big physical corner. Um, the cheaters have been in on Weatherspoon early, um, but they were in on Bryce West and Aaron Scott too. So I'm not worried about that. Uh, but the Buckeyes offer a, a certain – is a game changer for him. So uh, we'll keep an eye out on him and uh, – could be in Ohio State versus the Cheaters battle. Next, we got a receiver from uh, Fort Wayne, Indiana, 6'2", 170. He is a three-star right now, 8'5", 4'9", nationally, nationally ranked 4'7", 8", number 72 receiver, number four player in Indiana. Now, um, Ohio State was the first school to offer uh, – I'm sorry, I probably didn't say his name – Jerkaden Guilford. Jerkaden. That's what I'm going with. Um, so the Buckeyes were the first school to offer Fort Wayne receiver Mylon Graham two years ago. Now, Brian Hartline pulling that card once again and made sure to offer Jerkaden his first major offer. Um, so uh, 6'2", 170, Guilford is the same size as Mylon Graham. Um, he also trains with uh, Dre Muhammad, who is the wide receiver coach that also helped develop Graham. So... Oh, he also, uh, Dre Muhammad also uh, coached Austin Mack, former Buckeye receiver. So um, that's definitely somebody to keep an eye on. And uh, a lot of times those early offers will uh, pay dividends down the road like we've seen. Uh, Jameer Brown, 5'11", 160 from Wayne High School in Dayton. He's a 27 guy, so there's no ratings on him yet, but he's been offered by uh, everybody in the Midwest, Notre Dame, the Cheaters, Penn State. Um, he is uh, <clears throat> uh, the first 2027 prospect in Ohio to land a Buckeye offer. Uh, he was one of the best and fastest receivers in camp last week. Um, he does need to polish his game, but the physical talent is clear and obvious. All right, so uh, let's talk about this big man. Everybody's talking about him. Jakeem Stewart, um, he's a 2026 guy, could be reclassifying. We'll touch on that. Uh, 6'6", 270 from New Orleans, Louisiana, another kid from the deep, deep south. Five-star, number two player in the class, number one D lineman, number one player in Louisiana. I, I, of course, he has offers from Alabama, Auburn, Georgia, you know uh, so um, this was the second on-campus visit for Jakeem, um, and he he made a huge impression. Um, he's he's just a freaking beast. Uh, his size alone at 6'6", 270 as a sophomore. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, Larry Johnson tried to push him to his limits in camp last week. Um, he worked out Stewart for nearly three straight hours. Uh, Stewart said after the camp, quote, it was great. They taught me a lot of things. I feel I got a lot more things to work on into the summer, uh, but it was great to get up here. Those vibes always good with Coach Johnson. He continued on. He told me he really wants me. I could be another generational player. I really believe that he could teach me and really uh, grow me into the person I want to be. Build my character, build my personality. We've got a great relationship going on right now. I just want to build on it more. So a lot of good news there. So the recruiting honks are going to be negative about the Buckeyes and their chances with Stewart. But um, there's no doubt that the interest from Stewart is real. 
Um, he'll visit USC next week. LSU is the home school, obviously. They're going to continue to work on him. Um, Stewart is probably going to reclassify to the 2025 class. So that takes a whole 12 months off of his recruitment, and it will move much faster. Um, his coaches are handling the uh, reclassification stuff, but apparently he's taking all the classes needed with that in mind. So uh, academically, it's not an issue. Um, it's just a matter of when does he officially reclassify, you know. So um, keep keep an eye on this one. The Buckeyes are a real threat to pull him pull him out of the South. And um, and I would love to give uh, Alan Clark, the GA for Larry Johnson, the assist on this one. Obviously, he's from Baton Rouge. So Alan Clark uh, making moves and uh, helping helping Coach Johnson land some uh, some dudes from Cajun country. <clears throat> um, quick. Note on a 2027 quarterback. This is going to be a long show. Jesus. Oh, no. You're welcome. Enjoy it. Lay, just lay back and enjoy it, somebody once said. Uh, anyway, uh, Brady Edmonds, 6'5", 185, quarterback out of Huntington Beach, California. That's a pretty nice stretch of land right there. Uh, he was impressive uh, last week. The ball jumps off his hand, and he has a very queen, clean, quick release. Queen release. Uh, he was offered by Chip Kelly last week. So, uh, his, his, uh, I believe his, uh, parents are from like Cuyahoga Falls and are obviously huge Buckeye fans, but he was named after Tom Brady, Brady Edmonds. It's his name. So kind of ironic there or something like that. Quinky dink. Uh, next up, some, some tight ends, 2026 guys. Keenan Bailey has a good group of, uh, 26 tight ends. Uh, the Buckeyes offered Brock Harris, Ryder Mix, Corbin Fordham, Max Sutter. This is a, like all name team here. Uh, they were all in town. Uh, new offers went out to uh, Michigan's Lincoln Keys and Iowa's Evan Jacobson. In 2026, uh, Keenan Bailey's cast a wide net to find one guy that is head and shoulders above the rest. Uh, right now, the top of the list is loaded with some really good players. So we'll see who kind of filters out of the, these recent offers. Um, there's some some other guys that just picked up offers last week. Uh, wide receiver Jaden Ricketts. He's from Pataskala, Ohio. I had to look that up. I know where it is. You don't have to well actually me. Um, so anyway, he's a 2026 guy, six foot 187. Uh, it does not have a composite ranking, just a three star 87 ranking from 24 seven, uh, number 68 receiver, number seven, 17 player in Ohio. He has mo mostly Mac offers right now. Um, <clears throat> he was one of the fastest players in Ohio. He's been camped three straight summers at Ohio state and has gotten a little better every year, which is good. Um, he has a chance to be uh, first in-state receiver to commit to Brian Hartline since Jaden Ballard in 2021. So keep an eye out for the Ricketts. Um, Darius Gray, interior O lineman, uh, six two and a half, two seventy seven from Richmond, Virginia. It's a high four star, nine seven oh one, number fifty six player in the class, number three interior O lineman, number two player. In Virginia, has offers from Clemson, Bama, a uh, ton of teams. Um, he's sh a little shorter than your typical Ohio State guard at six two and a half, but uh, what he lacks in height, he makes up for in upper body strength and a solid base. Um, uh, Darius Gray stonewalled Jakeem Stewart in five of seven reps, so that's legit. Um, Gray said that the Ohio State offer means everything to him. So it's nice to hear. And a couple more dudes as we wind it down. Um, Grant Wise, interior O lineman, 6'3, 300 pounds from Milton, Florida. Don't know where that's at. Um, must be a small town. Uh, four star, 9344, nationally ranked 165. Number 11, interior O lineman, number 29, player in Florida. Has offers from Clemson, Bama, and the rest. Um, he's another shorter guard at 6'3", but uh, stout at the point of attack. Uh, he's a big barrel-chested, you know, kind of uh, fire plug guy in the middle of the offensive line. 
Our last guy here, Carter Lucky, uh, 6'5", 250 from Norcross, Georgia. Um, I like seeing some of these guys come up out of the South, come to camp at Ohio State. That says something, I think. Even if they don't commit to the Buckeyes, I think it's, it still means something. Uh, he's a four-star, 9160, uh, nationally ranked 224. And number 25, D lineman, number number 24 player in Georgia, has won crystal ball to Georgia because uh, he is the younger brother of freshman tight end Lawson Lucky for Georgia. Um, Carter wanted to visit Ohio State and work with Larry Johnson. Oh, I'm sorry, he's a strong side defensive end. Probably should have mentioned that. I thought he was an alignment for some reason. Anyway, uh, Carter wanted to visit Ohio State, work with Larry Johnson. Uh, so he and his mom came up with him. They were impressed by the Buckeyes and Larry, Larry Johnson. So the overall vibe of the campus in Columbus, they they really liked. Um, but Georgia is going to be tough to beat here. You know, for what it's worth, the Buckeyes made a good impression So on people from the South. So can't say the feelings mutual. Just kidding. Just kidding. People from the South, I only tease because I'm amongst you. It's going to get me beat up tomorrow. Anyways, please visit thebuckeyecast.com. You can grab a shirt. I should probably point out the shirts that I wear. All the shirts that I wear, I designed and are on the site, thebuckeyecast.com. All are on sale. This one says, fueled by Buckeye bourbon and Buckeye football. Yeah. So, anyways, appreciate you joining me for a long one. Hey, and uh, we'll talk to you tomorrow. Go Bucks.